we now know half of the quarterfinals in Euro 2024. We uh, now know half of the quarterfinalists in uh, Copa America and hoping to uh, join the quarterfinals on on Monday are the United States, who uh, off of that embarrassing uh, 2-1, 10-man defeat to, uh, to Panama the other day, need a result, need, need at least a draw if the uh, Bolivia match uh, were to end in a draw, or they could just get the full three points and then uh, win on goal differential. That would do it. I, I think the immediate knee-jerk, rea- knee-jerk reaction was, Jeff, after that game on Thursday was, oh, there's no chance. Uruguay is just going to run the U.S. out of the building. But then the odds came out. And I think, that, I know that caused me at least to kind of take the step back and just reassess everything, think things through, because the United States are favored on the three-way. U.S. are plus 145. Uruguay is plus 195 around there, plus 185. And then, and then you've got the draw around about plus 210, I think, 230. So, like, the odds makers, I think, priced in immediately that we may get some lineup changes from Uruguay. Um, and, and you just kind of get the impression that it was an opportunity just to kind of reassess everything. So where, where are you headed into this match with, with, with the U.S.? Do you think there's a uh, an opportunity here? Because you could bet the U.S.A. on the double chance as well, uh, which is minus 260, a little price, a U.S. win or a draw. Any, uh, any thoughts on the... Uh, on on the markets here, will win draw tie on three way or the or double take? The double chance, which I surely knew what it was, there about a week ago. Um, I I will say, um, here's my thing about about Team USA right now. Obviously, every four years, or now obviously every couple of years with the Euros, I get you. Know, we see a lot of USA soccer fans tweet, okay, and maybe it's just a cynicism in sports fans. But they all tweet about how disappointed they always are in this national team, right? Bear, I'm, 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 mm-hmm. I, I feel like you feel the same way. So I don't know what about this team I should feel confident about. They're going other than they have to win, right? Well, they right. sort of should have won last game. They didn't have to win, and we get a red card early on for a guy hitting a dude in the back of the head. Like, <laughs> what are we doing there? I mean, like, about the dumbest like, thing you like, could like, do, like, like, like undisciplined play. So yeah, maybe you're fading uh, your Uruguay team that's super hot, six points. As you mentioned, plus seven goal for, or goal differential. They don't need to win this game. USA has to win this game. So maybe there's the thought that, okay, we have a motivated team, can't play any worse. But it feels like over the years, USA sort of lets us down in this moment on the men's side. And so, I, Bear, I'd love for them to win, obviously. It'd be good for us, be good for the country, be good for the, the, the fans of this team. But I don't know how, how confident I feel they're going to do other than just saying – they're going to make a lot of changes, as you mentioned, and they're just going to play better because they can't play any worse. Well, we don't know the lineups yet. Uh, we we I, we don't know as of right now when we're recording this. Matt Turner, the U.S. goalkeeper, is going to be able to play. However, there have been some uh, Uruguay 11s floated out there on Twitter, and none of them have Darwin Nunez. None of them have De La Cruz. None of them have, have Valverde. So, like, I think... Uh, at least the, the people who follow this Uruguay yeah. team are expecting, I don't want to say a B level Uruguay, but, but, but you're expecting a lot of, a lot of the stars and yeah. you're expecting some of the people on yellows to not be in the lineup, which would certainly help the U S yes. uh, Bielsa, the, the Uruguay coach is also not going to be there. Uh, he is suspended. He's been part of the uh, leading the team out on the field, the tardy after halftime, which is, I'm glad these, these coaches are being, held responsible for that. And there's some accountability for it because it's, it, it's ridiculous. So the thing to look at too, like if you look at the three times the U S has played a, a Bielsa coach team, all of them have gone under two and a half. So it's like, they've been a lower scoring, closer game. So I think that might give the U S a hope. I'm curious to see what happens as well uh, with, with the U and U S line. But uh, I was surprised that Musa was not called on, uh, in the second half of that last match, because he's a guy who can kind of create and, and, and run yeah. and doesn't need to be set up like Pepe was. So I'd expect to see him uh, play a, play a good bit in, in, in this game on Monday, because I, I think he has the, the, the capability and the potential to, to score some goals. So uh, were, there, were there any, any, anything in the, uh, in the totals or player shots or, or anything like that, that might've uh, caught your eye? 
Uh, no, I'm waiting to lose a Lukaku uh, goal again. Uh, that's my. Oh, we'll, my, oh, we'll I'm get. Waiting, oh, we'll get I'm to Euros. To lose that. I'm, 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 I'm waiting to lose that wager uh, with Belgium. I, I haven't had to play anything yet, Bear. Um, the, the question I have for you, though, I'm gonna, is that so? I believe the next game for Uruguay would be July 6th. If I'm looking at the schedule correctly, I, I could be off a day or two there. Why would they sit their top line guys for 90 minutes with a game four or five days later? Well, I feel like that's something that USA fans want. We want that to happen. Yeah. But what's the benefit of them for doing for I understand if they play them a little bit, take them out, but why just sit them the entire game? I think the benefit is if you're going to be playing in Kansas City where it has been brutally hot and humid. I think we saw earlier in the tournament uh an incident with a referee who maybe gotten dehydrated and collapsed. So I think it it brings up the potential for injury, uh, players getting dehydrated, players maybe pulling a hamstring, players uh, maybe getting hurt. If you essentially have the group wrapped up, uh, there's no reason to really go out and risk yeah. injury to uh, Darwin Nunez or, or or Valverde or one of the stars who you really need in order to beat either Brazil or Colombia, who you're going to play yeah. uh, in the quarterfinals. So I, I agree with it there. Uh, so it, with with backups in there, you can look potentially maybe look at uh, Luis Suarez. He, he's in, r- rumored to be in the eleven. He's a guy who's going to be out there, and he's going to want to score. Uh, he's plus two forty to score anytime, six to one to score first goal. Uh, both teams to score uh, minus one twenty five on the yes, minus one hundred five on the no. And then uh, the, the the one that, that I did like was uh, was Balogun. Uh, he, both games. He scored in the first half, so he is plus 550 to be the first goal scorer. He's plus 225 to score anytime. I think the U.S. are going to get a result here. Uh, I, I know laying 260 uh, is a little bit of a, a steep number to, to lay, um, and I hate just saying, okay, find something that you can parlay it with to bring the price down just a little bit. So yeah. I, I, I know coming off of that last performance, it's hard to buy in. And it's hard to believe and it's hard to do. But remember, remember a couple of weeks ago as well, in, in, in a friendly, they were terrible. And then they came back out against Brazil and played really, really well yeah. and very easily could have won that game. And they got a result. They got the point. So I like U.S. winner draw. Uh, like I guess I, I know you got you got to pay a little tax for it, but yeah. uh, I, I'm I'm more optimistic, I think, about getting something out of this match than most people are. Could you wait a little bit to take that? In the game, and it be or in match, and it be a better price. You just take it now and be done with it. I would take it now because I think the U.S. is going to come out and play very well at the start. I think you're going to okay. see uh, a, a team that's more, and that's what they did against Brazil uh, in, in that friendly right before the uh, Copa mm-hmm. America started. So I, I think they come out. I, I think Musa does play, and, and, and Balogun does get going early like he did. Remember, Pulisic scored that great goal early. Uh, is well in the first game. They they yeah. played well early on, so I don't think the price necessarily is going to get better in that match. I don't see Uruguay coming out and, and putting up a goal early. I, I think they're going to, I don't want to say they're going to go out and play kickball, but I think they're very content here to just go out, play the 90 minutes, come out of here with, with, with the draw if need be, yeah. and move on. So I like US or draw. You can maybe even play, the, the other re- result that I would, that I would suggest playing and is around 11 or 12 to one. You could play draw in US Uruguay, parlayed with, with, with draw in the Bolivia, uh, the, the Bolivia Panama match, uh, because Panama's down some guys there too. Um, Bolivia aren't very good, but now Panama are expected to win that game to, to be able to get it through. So yeah. the draw, draw parlay of 11, 12 to one or so, I don't hate that bet either. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.